So yesterday evening, there was a, uh, a rainbow, which was uh, kind of nice of, of Mother Nature to give me that little, little glimpse of, you know, here's something cool, here's something good, because uh, it's about 5 a.m. right now, and I uh, started my truck up to uh, go out to the mud flats today, and the check engine light went on, and a couple other lights as well. And my truck is running really, really rough. And I'm hoping that it's something as simple as maybe needing to replace my gas cap. I tried to tighten it down, see if it's maybe not making good contact right now, but uh, I, there's nothing else I can do on my end. So I'm waiting until the uh, service station here, which is back behind me there, um, until they open up. They open at seven o'clock. So I got a couple hours of sitting here and, and waiting for that. But meanwhile, there's some really nice high clouds up in the sky right now. So I'm guessing that there's gonna be an absolutely beautiful sunrise as I'm sitting here waiting for the gas station to open up. I'm really hoping that this is a simple fix. I've got my, my hopes high. I wanna be able to be productive and, and take pictures. I, I don't wanna see my truck on a flatbed heading to who knows where, but it's all part of the journey, I guess. So I'd like to start by wishing everyone a happy Friday the 13th because that's what day it is today and it's very fitting for what's happening today and what's happening for this trip. Um, I'm still parked here in front of the gas station and I have a better feeling for what's going on here. Um, after doing some research of as far as the symptoms, um, asking around on Twitter, um, I, I looked under the hood and I think I found exactly what's going on. Um, so here's the story. So when I set up camp a couple days ago, when I got here, I made myself a delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, and I was just kind of sitting in the back of my truck, making the sandwich, eating the sandwich and enjoying everything. And some birds started flying by, they're trying to beg for food. And then there was this, uh, this chipmunk that was kind of running around begging for food. I never give anything to the animals because they're wild. They should eat wild food. People that feed them, it's, it's, it's not good. It just creates, creates bad stuff. But I always try to kind of scare them away a little bit. So I just kind of stop my feet and they kind of go running. So the birds went flying, the chipmunk went running and stuff. I think the chipmunk waited a day or so to get its revenge on me because I'm pretty sure that it chewed up my engine wiring. I see that one of the wires going to one of the cylinders has been chewed through. So kudos to you chipmunk, you are now at the top of my least favorite of animals ever list. You're at the very pinnacle of that list. I have no clue if this is something that they can be a quick fix for, um, if there's a way of put a new wire in there just to limp me along just to keep me going but I sure hope I don't have to fly bed it back just because my least favorite animal ever decided to chew through a wire but that's where we are right now it's a uh, nine something in the morning I still have another hour or two until the mechanic gets here and they'll see what's possible but I hate chipmunks <laughs> Gary and Shannon, uh, shout out to Ben actually says, thanks for keeping me entertained while I wait for a tow from Death Valley to Pahrump because a chipmunk ate my engine wires. That sounds like hell. But you know what? It's Friday the 13th. Oh. You know who else is tweeting today? No. Jason Voorhees so is tweeting today. I uh, packed up camp and uh, called a tow truck. So I'm going to get flat bedded back to Pahrump. And uh, see what I can find over there. This isn't good. <laughs> this is this is going from not good to like really not good. But I guess if this is a way, I mean, if there's a way to cap off a really crappy trip, might as well uh, cap it off with a flatbed truck ride to Pahrump, Nevada. That's all I got.
my forerunner is fixed. I am so happy about this because the uh, tow truck driver knew a great shop in Pahrump and so took it there, took them maybe an hour or so and then they got it all fixed good as new. It's running smooth. So I've managed to break a video camera on this trip. I broke my 8x10. I broke my forerunner. But what I have not broken is whatever it is that makes me want to take more pictures because I still have that drive. I want to take photos but to do that I need to go back to Death Valley. I need to grab a campsite. It's a Friday. It might be a little busy and I am not going back to the same campsite I was because I don't want another <laughs> chipmunk to eat that one important wire in my truck that makes it not run. So let's go back to Death Valley. So I'm going to end today's video on a very positive note. I've just been beat down on this trip. Lots of things have gone wrong, but it has not affected whatever that is inside me that makes me want to go out and shoot some photos. And that is, it's a little bit unusual in some ways because normally it doesn't take too much to throw me off, but this has just become almost comical. Um, when my truck <laughs> broke down this morning, it was one of the things where I just had to laugh. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of funny in kind of a twisted way, but I think tomorrow is going to bring a new day. It's going to bring some opportunity. The skies are going to clear out. The storm is going to clear out both in a literal and kind of in a figurative kind of way. And I think I'm going to have the opportunity to expose some film on some subjects that I've already scouted and also maybe spend some time during midday scouting some other subjects. So I'm really excited for what tomorrow brings. I want to get out there. I want to expose some film. I want to be productive. Let's see what happens in the morning. If you love this content and want to help support my journey, you can do so by subscribing to my YouTube channel, telling a friend, or sending a voluntary contribution of just $24 a year with PayPal or Patreon. I depend on the generous support of people like you to produce this ad-free content. For more information on how to support me, please visit the donations section of my website. Thanks in advance for your support.